Hello, everybody. It's Jess here with Blush Jess. This is my husband, David. Y'all don't know me. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't been around on very many vlogs lately. Welcome to this month's Universal Yums Taste Test um, and Unboxing. So if you don't know, <laughs> we've been getting Universal Yum boxes for over a year now. Mm -hmm. And it's a subscription-based company. You get to try snacks from a different country every Taste month. Taste of the nations. It's been a lot of fun. Yep. We do have a referral link down below. Finally, okay. if you guys want to try it out, I think you get $5 off your box. Well worth it. We, at right, right now at this time, only have the smallest box subscription. It's about $14 a month, and it's totally worth it. You get like six or seven snacks, and then they have different levels, too. Mm -hmm. We've been very lucky to have some viewers, some lovely subscribers, give us some bigger boxes. And we're back to... A small box, and I was a little shocked at how small it We're was. We're spoiled now. <laughs> it looks smaller. Um, so I may be having to upgrade ourselves because... No, no. Well, I tried... No. Actually, I tried to upgrade this box because it's Italy. We were right. <laughs> actually, did we guess Italy? I don't think we guessed Italy. I think we had it as one of our choices. Um, I think we were saying, like... I don't remember. I don't know. Um, oh, well. But... I tried to upgrade it and like the website was down or something, so I never did. So no need to upgrade it because I don't think there's any gelato in there. <sighs> I, I would love to visit Italy. So we will go someday. We have our little booklet here. We're gonna go throughout and taste it. I have no idea what's in here. We're just gonna start at the beginning and taste the flavors of Italy. Okay, you wanna read it? Okay, what's yeah. the first thing? The first one is Moretta Tiramisu. No. Yeah, that's the first thing. That's the first one right there. Oh, you want to do that one first? Well, okay. I just want to go in, in Oh, order. okay. I, thought, I just want to go in order. I, I thought the description was under the picture. It's not. Gotcha. Okay, well, then that'll be second. First, let's do Alfredo's truffle chips. Okay. Tell us about them. Italy is a world renowned for its pasta, cured meat, and, of course, its wine. But forget all those. We're here to talk about the greatest Italian treasure, truffles. This is a prized ingredient in fine Italian cuisine. These tiny brown mushrooms grow abundantly across northern and central Italy. They provide a complex flavor to even the most simple dishes. Yep, uh, we know how expensive they are. Yeah. Before you can use them, though, you need to help finding them. The fickle fungi can only be located un underground by specifically trained pigs or dogs. And their exact whereabouts are closely guarded by hunters. Fortunately, though, your search has been st simplified with these chips. They're made with real Italian truffles. I I'm not a huge fan of truffles. We're not very so, so interesting how something that's considered the, the fancy. Chips, the chips that we get in these boxes are usually not my favorite. They're a little interesting. Oh, they smell like a chip. It smells like truffle oil, too. It smells just like a chip to me. That's truffle oil. It's not terrible, but it has that strong truffle taste. I'm not. I'm just not a fan of truffle. Maybe like we're not fancy enough, but. I wouldn't spit it out. Three. Three. Not my favorite, but not terrible. Now, now the, the Moretta Tiramisu. The chips, though, um, are very crunchy. I like that. Yeah. Okay. Tiramisu may be on every Italian restaurant menu, but it hasn't been that way for very long. The layered cake first came to about the 1970s, thanks to a man named Carminian. No. Car I'm not even going to try to say that name because it, it, it's, it's, it's continued on the next line. That's how long it is. Okay, by the age oh, this of 12, this guy, this guy became, a, became a pastry chef and opened his own restaurant. And he created a dessert for the everyday flavors of the region. So this is a sample of the uh, tiramisu. And it's, um, it has some caffeinated coffee oh, I in smell it. it. I smell the coffee. Yeah, espresso, ladyfingers, and rich custard. Okay, well, it looks good. I'm not a huge fan of tiramisu usually, but it's, that's good. I like it like that. You get the coffee taste for sure. That's really good. I'm going to say five too. That's good. Normally I don't like tiramisu, but that is delicious. And it's not too bitter or too, it's really yep. balanced. It's really good. I like that. Yum. I want one more little bite. Mm. Mm. Yum. Okay. The Coronero. Nicchiole. No. Oh, is that? That's what that is. Okay. Milk chocolate with hazelnuts. Oh, y'all know this is going to be good. Italy is nuts about nuts. And not just any nuts. Italian hazelnuts particularly are the ones that, the ones that have grown in Piedmont are prized throughout the country for their excellence and authenticity. 
So this is made with the freshest of Piedmont hazelnuts along with the finest cocoa served, sourced from South America and West Africa. This creamy yum is high quality and high in flavor as it gets. Oh, look at this. It's like so pretty. Flip it over. There's the, the hazelnuts. hazelnuts. I love, actually love hazelnuts. Me too. I want to get a piece with a lot of them. Okay, so let's see. Holy cow. Mm-hmm. So creamy. That's delicious. In case y'all wonder what we're doing, we're grading them on a scale of one to five. Sorry, we didn't say that. This is some of the best chocolate I've ever had. That's really good. It's so creamy. The hazelnuts don't overpower it at all. No, it's really good. Really, really good. Definitely a five. Mm. Next, we have the Torali Limone e Pepe. Which is lemon peppered flavored wheat snacks. Walk down a snack aisle in the US and you'll see endless varieties of chips. Walk down a snack aisle in Italy and you'll see endless types of terrale. These are crunchy spirals and Italian go to. No, you're not saying it right. Terralini. Terralini? Well, there's an N I. Well, this one doesn't have that. This one just has terrale. Oh. Anyway. Oh, maybe that's the brand. Yeah, maybe. This is terralini. The simple ingredients allow for a whole lot of experimentation with flavor. These are made with flour, water, and olive oil, and the snack is a mixture between a breadstick, a cracker, Ooh. and a pretzel. And this one is lemon pepper flavored. The texture looks almost like a pretzel. That's what it said. It's oh, a, it's a pretzel? It's a cross between a cracker, a pretzel, and a breadstick. Mm-hmm. Mm. Interesting. It's like a pretzel, but more of a crackery kind of pretzel. It's like the exact same seasoning and flavor you put on lemon chicken. When I heard lemon though, I thought it was be way stronger lemon. The lemon is very light. The, the pepper is actually the pepper stronger, stronger than the lemon. I really like that. It's all right. Let me say four. I'll go three. I like it. I love savory snacks though. I'm not a big fan of pepper or lemon, so. But the lemon is so light. Like if you didn't tell me there was yeah. lemon on that, I probably wouldn't even taste it. Okay. The Folletti uh, Limone Cookies. Lemon cookies. They're big on lemon apparently. Yeah. Well, it's Italy. That's, that's good. Oh, wait. You forgot one. Dave has just gone all out of one. No, we can go down to that one. <laughs> okay, here's the one. When life gives you lemons is a phrase meant to console people, but in Italy, when life gives you lemons, you're really, really happy. They're growing the perfect they are growing the perfect lemon as an art form, starting with the careful cultivation of the land, followed by months and months of endless care. So these are cookies that they look like shortbread cookies. Yeah. That's what they are. Basically. Yeah. Okay. Broletti lemon. They just go on and talk about how much they harvest lemons and how many lemons they produce and all that. Drier than a shortbread though. Mmm. Really good flavor. I like how their lemon flavored stuff is very subtle. Given the cookies crumbly texture and bright citrus flavor, we wouldn't mind if life ended us a bunch of these. Very dry. Like I can tell, like, drink this with coffee. Mm -hmm. Be good. I'm gonna say four. The lemon is very subtle. I'll go four. Again, I mean, they're not a huge strong flavor. More of a sugar cookie, yeah. sugar cookie taste to me. Yeah. But good. I will say this box may look small, but they have a lot of stuff yeah. crammed in here. Okay. Amaretini cookies. These are crispy almond cookies. Mm. Who doesn't love a good love story? Even if you're not a fan of love stories, you've at least got to like one that involves cookies. So these cookies are whisked together with everything they could find. Apricot kernels, sugars, and egg whites. They made cookies. They wrapped them in gift paper. Well, that's talk about the people that made these. Just okay. like little tiny, tiny cookies. So these are, these are whipped together cookies that have almond bits in them. Mm. It's actually like a ginger snap. Mm-hmm. Really like crunchy. But there's the super almond good. flavor. That is good. Almost like a biscotti. Like super hard. It's got more in there than almond though. It's like, it's a, that, it's like a fruitiness it's to it. It's that almond flavoring to me. Mm. It's good. Oh yeah. oh yeah, it's got apricot kernels. That's what I'm tasting. Well, okay. That's pretty good. Uh, I'll say four. I'll say three. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. We still have our yum bag. What does that mean? Is this like their new version? They usually have like a little candy yeah, bag. That's what this is. Okay. 
effervescent fizzy candies, lemon and orange fizzy fruit candies, and then also in there is the Serini Gianduina. I can't say that. G i a n d u i o t t i. You try that. Gianduati. Gianduati. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so here we got the orange ones. We didn't get any lime. That's a lemon chocolate. No, these are it's the. It's supposed to be lemon and orange. Effervescent fizzy candy. Yeah, orange. This would be lemon and orange. Oh, we don't have lemon. We just have orange. Okay, well that's. I would prefer that actually. Okay, so what do they say about these? Uh, the last word we'd ever use to describe these is boring. All that applies to their drinks. Um, all that applies to the drinks too. No ordinary tap water here. Local locals prefer their beverages are full of fizz and flavor. So it's supposed to be like a fizzy drink inside, like a fizzy drink version of a candy. Which makes sense because when we had those crushed flavored candy canes, they had a fizz. It's thundering really loud if y'all hear that. Mm. Mm. I love that. You can like feel the little bubbliness of it. There's no shortage of fun and fizzy Italian soft drinks. These from Zesty Lemon to Tangy oh, Orange. It's getting stronger. Yep. yep. It does kind of feel like you're drinking a soda. These provide a, a bright bubbly powder that takes them from plain to effervescent. I'm wondering if the middle is like real strong. Mm. Mm. Some of it's coming out. That is good. I love this. It's really refreshing. It tastes like soda. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Bite it. I don't want to crack my teeth out of them. It's not that thick. Bite it. That's hard. It just explodes. Mm hmm. Wow. I like it, though. It kind of tastes like a sour candy in the middle. A little bit. It's got, it's got like a liquid in there. That was good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Go on to the next thing while I try to get rid of this. Introducing Italy's pride and joy, Gian Duati. Or, hey, I said it. Originating in know. northern Italy, an Italian called Torin, these famous chocolates have been crafted in the exact same way for centuries. The raw hazelnuts from the Piedmont region are ground into a thick paste, then mixed with fresh cocoa and sugar to create a unique and silky confection. Though no one knows exactly who invented these, there's some, some things we know for sure that they became very popular in the 1860s, and it was named after a character in Italy's Commedia Dei Art, which is an early form of theater, and that represented the Piedmont region. I know these are going to be good. Like, I just have a feeling. We That's each got cool. one. Look how smooth they look. And there's hazelnut in there. Wow. That's good. The smoothness of their mm. chocolate. So good. It's very good, very good. Did wow. you taste the hazelnut? Mm-hmm. I, I like that. a Nutella. Mm -hmm. There's not actual nuts. It's like a... Yeah, this is very much like a Nutella. Mm-hmm. It's like a Nutella chocolate triangle. That's good. So what was your favorite? That. Mm -hmm. That. Also really like this. That's good too. Also really like this tiramisu. This um, is a great box. I, I, I'm discovering chocolate and hazelnut are two of my favorite things to combine. I love them. So good. And and, and I never knew. You know those things you get on Valentine's Day that are those gold wrapped balls? Mm -hmm. That's chocolate hazelnuts. Yeah. I did not know that. You learned something every day. Yeah. I did so next that. Valentine's Day, that's what I want. It's not the Ferrero Rocher's? Yeah. Yeah, those are chocolate beans. And they're delicious. <laughs> what did you think they were? I thought they were like cream filled or something. <laughs> okay, here's the clue for next month, you guys. Let's see if Let's we can guess this. it. Next month, we'll visit a place that is old and crafty, creative, and so very cold. If you're hungry, just reach for their baskets of bread or cinnamon chocolates or unique pepper spreads. That tells me nothing. I'm going to say, I have no idea. A place that is old, crafty, creative, and so very cold. Crafty, creative, and so very cold. I that don't know. Bread baskets. By the way, if we had the super yum box, we could have tried pizza rings. That looks good, by the way. Cinnamon chocolates. Pesto bruschetta. And pepper spreads. Who knows? Y'all leave it down below in the comments. Oh, and look. They give you a recipe in here for carbonara al limone. I love carbonara. It looks good. You guys want to see there. Okay. 
This is one of my, last month we said it was our favorite, but this one gave it a run for its money. I don't this know. was a great box. I don't know. I know. The I only know. one we weren't really sure about was the truffle chips. Everything else we really like. So, mm -hmm. great box. If you guys want to try it out and use my link down below, you'll get $5 off. It Do really it. helps support our channel because we pay for this all on, all on our own. It's not sponsored at all. Right. We just love doing it. Not a sponsor. Not a sponsor. If they want to sponsor us. We would love that. <laughs> we'll wear your stuff. <laughs> all right, you guys. If you like this video, you know what to do. Give us a big thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below. Please subscribe if you're new. We'd love to have you a part of our Blush Just fam. And if you are a new subscriber, make sure you click the bell so every time this beautiful blonde bombshell posts in a video, you'll get notified immediately. All right, you guys. We love you. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. You're calling, I'm falling Don't know what it is you do to me, yeah Where you go, I follow